We got Vice President Middleton here with us. He's going to give us a few words about. You, you need to know that one of our uh, our cardinal rules is manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. And uh, this fraternity is about raising money for scholarship. We had a, we set a goal of two hundred and fifty thousand. We've already raised one hundred and ninety-five thousand already. And the brothers have said to me privately that before we leave today, we're going to raise that other fifty-two thousand that we need to come up with that two fifty. You know, students, the need for student scholarship now is growing more than ever before. And, and, and what makes our five fraternity has always been out front in leadership in terms of providing those scholarships for our students. So we are here today to, to celebrate our 80th anniversary, but more importantly to celebrate our achievements and, what, and not only what we've done, but what we hope to do in the future. Again, let us welcome you and thank you for coming. And Rachel, if you please be kind enough to come and uh, offer the welcome, and we're gonna follow as it's pending on our program. Thank you very much. I am Reginald Delaney Cruz II, and I am the Basilisk of the legendary Mississippi chapter as of now, yes. and I am Spring 17. I would like to begin with uh, a look back. 1938, May 21st, we were chartered here on this campus, and ever since, we have been taking steps towards success and continually pushing people out into the community to make a better place in Orangeburg as well as the world. And I would like to go ahead and thank you once again and welcome you to our 80th anniversary and the luncheon. Thank you. So let us, uh, let us stand if you don't mind, please. <laughs> this is my story. shared by the late brothers Dean E. Horace Fitcher and Dr. Harlow Caldwell. And with the aid of three other brothers, their vision came true. On May 21st, 1938, the legendary Land of Sigma chapter of Omega Psi Phi was founded and chartered. Ever since then, this chapter has produced many extraordinary men throughout its 80 years of existence. I just want to say to all of you, happy 80th anniversary to the legendary Nine Sigma chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. I'm glad to be here. Um, thank the committee for choosing me because I have a lot of great Lambda Sigma brothers. They could have chosen for this honor. Um, 80 years ago, 15 brothers came together under the leadership of their guidance counselors and their recruiters to form Lambda Sigma chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity. Wherever we are, whatever our endeavor, not just at Clapham, not just in Omega, but wherever we are, someone should take notice and say that we are who we say we are. We are Lambda Sigma, the pride of Omega Psi Phi. Brothers, if we do that, then we'll be a living, living tribute to our fathers. Thank you. God our fathers in Christ's name we come and we thank you for this privilege to enter into your presence in prayer. 
But Lord, as we also come today in celebration of 80 years, we come to fellowship with brothers, old and young. We ask that you bless the hands that have prepared the food, those of us that are about to receive it. This in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. about the organization if you will and and what it means to you and what it means to the community uh, it, it means so much to me understanding that even as I was a youth coming up um, they have things such as the talent hunt boys camp things like that to enrich and to were you involved in those things then? I was I actually was the talent hunt was one thing I was mainly in and it's something that pushes forward understanding of um, classical music as well as getting you into giving you scholarships so you can push you into going to college. And what's your major? I'm a psychology major, music minor, sir. Tell us about this event, if you will. Well, what's happening, Harvey, is we're celebrating 80 years of our chapter uh, of Lambda Sigma here on the campus of Claflin University. It was 80 years that the embryonic start came about, and uh, and we are so happy. Uh, there are persons here from multiple classes, and we're reflecting, giving thanks, and um, that captures the celebration. I heard someone mention um, the responsibility of those who have been through the process still guiding the ship forward with young people. Yeah, a part of the mistake that some of us have made, uh, we've done exceptionally well here at the university, we've gone in our separate paths, but we've not come back to help the younger brethren, to nurture them, to have help them have an appreciation, a substantive appreciation of the fraternity and what our values really are. Yeah. Well, Dr. Richburg, we want to thank you for all you do in this community. Is there anything else you want to add and let the community know about your organization? No, we're delighted that you're here and we're delighted in terms of those many things that you're doing. But the Omega Sapphire fraternity, yes, uh, friendship is essential to the soul. And, um, and a part of our celebration is the endowment, the quarter of a million dollar endowment that uh, this fraternity, this chapter, uh, has for uh, Clafton University. So it's all about lifting the least of these and helping them to get to where, where we are.